So um, if the shift to the right, uh, if there's something positive about the shift to the right, or, or if there's some kind of optimism we can find in this shift uh, to the right, is the question. So I, I would say I have a lot of difficulties in interpreting this at this time um, or finding something positive in it, I must say. But I cannot afford to be pessimistic. You know, so I, I wouldn't say, as many people have said, for example, that uh, if there's one thing good about Trump is that, uh, or that he was voted in, is that we now know how, how bad the situation is. We, some of us always knew how bad the situation was. You know, and how the situation is. You know, we didn't need for Trump to be elected. We didn't. We don't need a, a shift to the right to to realize how terrible things are, how how uh, racist societies are, how how classist societies are, how uh, uh, patriarchal societies are. We don't actually need to have a, an, a, a government elected to to be able to realize that. But as I said, I cannot afford to be pessimistic. You know, and uh, there was this. This conversation, this public conversation between uh, uh, Harry Belafonte and Noam Chomsky, and um, you know, and Chomsky was a brilliant mind. You know, went on for how many minutes talking about how negative things are, and uh, at the end of the conversation, Harry Belafonte told him, you know, look, I am ninety-three years old, and if it comes to it, I'll pick up the weapon and I'll go out there and fight because I don't have the privilege to be pessimistic, you know, and I found that extremely important. So basically what we're doing is finding ways of resisting and to be able to resist, you have to be positive, you have to be able to think of a brighter future.